sorry for the lack of music and sorry for the lack of audio in the first part of this video but uh just hold on i'm just going to show you guys two quick clips of me running this deck and then afterwards i'm going to jump right into the deck profile so just enjoy watching this and then just wait until i you know start talking again so peace out guys until then Hey, what is going on guys? It is your boy Omega Blank Page coming at you with another video and what you guys are going to watch today is my Sever Dragon Infinity deck profile so hopefully you guys do enjoy. This deck has little to no ease getting out Cyber Dragon Infinity and uh, you can basically almost get out a Cyber Dragon Infinity at least once per turn as long as you have three monsters in your hand and uh, almost always you'll always have two to three monsters in your hand. Or, you know, one monster out in the field. So, it's very, very easy to get out Cyber Dragon Infinity. Uh, the main deck is composed of heraldic monsters and generic monsters that can be easily summoned from your hand or the graveyard or the deck. So, it's very, very consistent, very competitive, and very fun. And I just suggest using this deck when you're trying to get out a Cyber Dragon Infinity just because it is so consistent in getting out a Cyber Dragon Infinity. I mean, you can get out two of these or three of these if you guys want or you know you can just get out you know or you can just get one one turn then like if you want to close like mid game with it you can send another one or something like that I mean you can just really go off with this deck it's kind of unbelievable how consistent this deck really is but right now before we jump into the deck profile itself I would just like to ask you guys to please subscribe to my youtube channel the subscribe button is right down there so if you guys wouldn't mind just clicking it I would greatly appreciate it it would help me out a lot I want I want a lot of support uh, you know, I plan on being a big Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube channel one day, and I'm very, very dedicated, and uh, hopefully you guys can just click that subscribe button for me, if you guys would be so kind. So, uh, right now, I'm just going to jump right into the deck profile itself, and afterwards, I'm just going to give some tips and tricks, some combos, I guess I can say, that this deck can do. So, let's jump right into it. So, starting off, I'm running 3 Holderaldic Beast Emphyspina. 3 Herald of Beast Leo. You could probably drop this guy down to 2 or 1. Uh, sometimes this guy can be, get a little cloggy, uh, but right now I'm just running him at 3 just because he is a pretty good search engine for some heraldic monsters. So uh, that's why I'm running him at 3 right now, but you guys can definitely drop him down to 2 or 1. 3 Herald of Beast, Aber Conway. He's a pretty good card to get some heraldic beasts from your graveyard out and onto the field. 1 Heraldic Beast, Twin Headed Eagle. This guy can basically just add monsters to your infinity from your graveyard I mean his effect reads that you can banish this card from your graveyard to target one face up XC monster you control 
with no extra material and two probably beast monsters in your graveyard. Attach those monsters from the graveyard to that face of XD monster. So basically he can just add, you know, XD material to infinity to where he can then just negate stuff or take some monsters and, you know, do all that great like to, to make sure that infinity can do his effects basically. Two Heroic Beast Unicorn, this card seems pretty good. And then now we're just going to jump right into the generic cards that can easily be summoned from your hand, deck, or graveyard. So three, Kage to Kage. This guy is pretty good. If you normal summon a monster, you can special summon this guy from your hand. So obviously, you know, that's pretty, pretty handy. Three, Toy Knight. This guy basically can just be special summoned from your hand as long as your opponent has more monsters than you do out on the field. So it's pretty, pretty easy to get him out into the field. 3 Evil Swarm, Man Dragora. He's, this card's pretty good as well. Basically, it's the same as Toy Knight. 3 Photon Thrasher. This card's pretty dang great as well. 3 Heroic Challenger Assault Halberd. This guy's pretty, pretty useful. You can just special summon from your hand, and then you can add another one of him to your hand. So it's uh, pretty, pretty great. 3 Tin Goldfish. 3 star drawing, and that's it for the monsters guys, 33 monsters, and now we're just going to jump right into the spells, uh, 3 mystical space typhoon to get rid of back row, 3 advanced heraldry art, this guy, this card basically just allows you to uh, just bring back some heraldic monsters from your graveyard and put them into an XZ monster, uh, aka infinity, and uh, you know that's just a pretty good card. And then one Swords of Revealing Light. I only had, I only had room for one more card, so I was just thinking of like one card that would, you know, good that would go good with this deck. And I was deciding on whether to put in Snatch Steel or Swords of like Revealing Light or you know some other great spell card. And I just ended up going with Swords of Revealing Light just because Infinity is basically just an overpowered Snatch Steel. So let's put in Swords of Revealing Light. You guys can just definitely take out this Swords of Revealing Light and replace it with some other card. Jumping into the extra deck, I'm running 3 Cyber Dragon Infinity, 3 Cyber Dragon Nova, 3 Planet Satellar Knight Ptolemaeus, 2 Castell the Sky Blaster Musketeer, 1 Evil Swarm Exiton Knight, 2 Number 18, and 1 Abyss Dweller. Jumping into the side deck, I'm running 1 Raigeki, 2 Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, this card basically can just shut down uh, dark decks like Burning Abyss, Shadows, etc. Light and Prison Mirror basically just shuts down uh, Light Sworn decks and etc. Two Scrap Iron Scarecrow can, good, can go really really well with Ultimate Zulkin. so um, that's why it's here. It's also just a good you know back row card to make sure that your opponent can attack into your Infinity or any other card you have out onto the field. I mean, instead of it, you know, instead of like using it and then just like throwing it away to the graveyard, you can reuse this card over and over and over, which is pretty great. Three quick draw synchron, just in case you guys want to add some versatility to your deck to where you then can synchro summon into some of these guys over here. Quick draw synchron plus a level five monster, AKA like a Cyber Dragon Nova or something. You can just then easily get out a Ultimate Zulkin and then from there you can just set down a spell card and then you can just go right into like clear wing or beals or moonlight so that's if you guys you know want to add some versatility to your deck if you guys want to add some synchro monsters into the extra deck if you guys don't want to just play pure xc monsters ultimate zulkin is just a very very good card just because of the sole fact that you can just spam uh dragon level 7 or level 8 dragon type synchro monsters so that's he's very very good and I just suggest you know playing him if you can Clearwing is just a very very overpowered synchro monster you guys have to read into its effect it's very very good though like he can like negate stuff like hella hella good uh, Beals he can just not be you know stop sometimes unless you have a infinity or a snatch steel or a 101 I mean he can he can't be destroyed by any means unless like you like take control of him and shit so he's a pretty good card to go into if you have an ultimate Zulkin. One Moonlight Rose Dragon just because of the sole fact that it can destroy a level 5 special summon monster on your opponent's side of the field so it's pretty good. So uh, those are the just the 5 synchro monsters I would suggest running in this deck with Quick Draw Synchron. 
uh, also with Scrap Iron Scarecrow, just, just for the consistency of Ultimate Azulk and gain his effect off to where he can then just special summon these guys from your extra deck. So that's basically it for this video guys, hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, this is a very very fun deck and I enjoy using it and I'm glad that uh, Cyber Dragons finally got the support that they really really needed. I mean Infinity is a very very top tier card in my opinion. But thank you guys for watching this video, hope you guys did enjoy, if you guys haven't already Subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. Like I said earlier in the video, I upload every weekend. And uh, hopefully you guys you know, will stay tuned for uh, this weekend's upcoming videos. And if you guys haven't already, comment down below any card suggestions or any deck requests that you guys want me to do. I take all deck requests. I mean, if you guys want me to do a Light Sworn deck profile, I'll do one. If you guys want me to try and make a Cyber Dragon Infinity deck, uh, with another, you know, engine besides heraldics, I can definitely try. And basically, you know, if you guys just want me to do any deck profile like Exodia or Burning Abyss or, you know, the new Yang Zings or Shadals, I can definitely do that. So just leave your comments down below. And if you guys haven't already liked the video uh, and uh, share it and favorite it and, you know, all that great stuff. And hopefully, you guys have fun using this deck. I do. And I'll just catch you guys in the next video. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll catch you guys later. Adios.